This video is for anyone wondering why you get so many clicks and calls and not enough customers are actually booking with you. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to get more bookings without lowering your prices. What's up everyone, Tariq here with the Bent Hawk, bringing you the best tips and tools for skyrocketing your business. I'm all about the numbers and nothing gets me more excited than when a business owner comes to me and has this question, how do I get more bookings? Because there's a super simple fix that most business owners are not doing at all and we can usually help them see double or even triple the sales in one month or less. The numbers don't lie. <laughs> Now you gotta understand, the reason that your customers aren't doing business with you is not your price. It's, it's not this whole thing about, hey, everybody's trying to take me down and bring down my prices and negotiate with me. It's really just their expectation. They don't know what to expect from your business. They don't know, you know, they've, they've interacted with your website, maybe they've called you once, but studies show that the fortune is in the follow-up. And if you follow up with your customer, talk to them, engage with them, make them feel comfortable, just give them a call or shoot them a text or a follow-up email, you can easily see double or even triple the amount of bookings. Think about it, when was the last time you went on somebody's website one time, they're like, oh my God, this is great, here's my credit card number. It doesn't happen that way. We, we need some convincing, right? Especially if you want their business sooner than later. And all it takes, especially in today's world, is one phone call or one text to give the customer that feeling that, hey, I'm here for you. If this doesn't work out, I'm gonna be there to support you, right? We're a responsive business. I'm a person. There's a person behind this business. There's a human element, right? My name is Tariq. I'm with this business and I saw that you were just on my website. What can I help you with? How can I help you make this happen, right? And you'll find that once you start those conversations, the customer is gonna be very excited, a lot more excited than just throwing an add to cart button with, in front of their face or book now or hey, give me your money, right? Once you start to talk to them, they're gonna be very excited and you can't always get the sale the first time but again follow up again and again and again and when you follow up in a way that shows the customer that you care about them like hey Mary I only have one of these left so I know you were super interested in it for your kids birthday party and I just really don't want you to miss out so I'm calling back to see if you still needed it before somebody else books it online when you say it like that when you talk to your customers that way they really feel like you care and they're like oh yeah you know you're right I don't want to miss out right so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I use a software to go ahead and follow up with my customers for my and for my team so that we don't lose a single opportunity because guess what it's a lot easier to make money from a customer who's already interacted with you or who's already in your system than going out and spending a ton of time and money on marketing to bring more people in it's like having a store full of customers who are interested in what you do but you're on the outside of the store trying to bring more customers in instead of helping the people who are inside the store but before we talk about that I'm curious do you know what your close rate is tell me in the comment section below what percent of your uh, website visitors or anybody who interacts with your business what percent of those visitors actually become paying customers do you know do you have do you use like Google Analytics or some kind of software that tracks that let me know in the comments and hey if you've gotten any kind of value from this video at all smash that like button and subscribe to my channel so we can keep delivering awesome videos like this to you all right, so here's the system that we use to follow up with and track our customers. Every customer that goes onto our website and gets a quote online shows up in brown, and we don't wanna see brown. Brown is poop, it's that color for a reason. So they come in as brown, and then my team's job is to immediately contact them as soon as possible. CTE stands for call, text, email. Notice how it's hard to see because we wanna move them up in these follow-ups. I'll explain that in a sec. But uh, they come in as, as quote, and then we need to call, text, email. If you're using a system like Event Hawk, it'll automatically do the text and email for you. And hey, I understand a lot of you guys can't necessarily call every customer, but it has to be in your periphery because studies show that customers are so much more likely to book with the first company that calls them, the first company that introduces itself. So you wanna have that in your overall game plan and business plan for your business. But they come in as a quote, we contact them, but we don't leave it at there. At the end of every touch, we let the customer know that we're gonna follow up once, twice, three times. So we don't tell them three times, but we tell them, hey, uh, I understand you need to talk to your husband, Susie. So uh, I only have one of these bounce houses left. Are you going to talk to him tonight? Yes. Okay. How about if it's available tomorrow morning, I'll give you a call and see how we're doing. Sound good? Sound good. So I don't let her know that I'm going to follow up to bug her. I make her feel like, hey, I'm looking out for you. I want your daughter to have this bounce house. So we follow up once, twice, three times before giving up. So here's how it looks like when you come in here. 
Um, it comes in as a quote. Uh, my team's job is to contact them and it's as easy as just moving the needle here. And then they follow up once, two times, three times. And hopefully at some point they book. If not, we can market not interested or, or uh, whatever. But my job as a business owner, what's cool about this is as I start to hire a team, I can take a look at my business and say, hey, why do we have so much brown? Why do we have so much poop? This is these are people who are not. This is literally burning money that's sitting there. We're not doing anything about. So if, if that's the case, then either my team is lazy or I'm overworking them. I've given them way too much other things to do that they're not able to, to contact customers or, or, you know, again, if you have a system for that, then it can automatically do it. If we don't have a lot of brown, if we're following up, but we don't have a lot of green, maybe I need to teach my team to better sell. So it really helps you understand where you need to train your team and where your company's doing and how much potential it really, really has. Now, if you want to learn how to get more more customers to your website, how to get in front of more customers, and what's the best way to market your business, you're going to want to check out this video. Click this YouTube card. I'll also link to it in the description. But if you're more interested in learning how to optimize your website so that you get more of those people to actually become leads so you can interact with them, you're going to want to check out this video on this YouTube card or go ahead and click the link in the description and I'll see you on the next one.